this video, we will discuss about the members of the Commodores who have died. The Commodores were formed in 1968 at Tuskegee College, Alabama. The Commodores rose to distinction during the 1970s as a seven-part band with an extraordinary mix of funk. With heartfelt harmonies and enamoring exhibitions, they made huge progress with hits like Blockhouse Simple. Furthermore, multiple times, a woman the striking musicians were Lionel Richie, Thomas McClary, Sheldon Reynolds, Walter Clyde, Orange James Sr. member Nicholas Schuyler, Flew Ronald Lopped, William Lord, and Milan Williams. Before we get into the video, give us a like and a comment. Sheldon Reynolds, the gifted performer Sheldon Reynolds, who was a huge piece of the unbelievable band that Commodores, before we start, we should give a setting to the people who might be new to Sheldon Reynolds, who was brought into the world on November 27, 1953, in Chicago, Illinois. Sheldon Reynolds was a talented guitarist, performer, and lyricist. He joined the Commodores in 1984 during a momentary period for the band. We should investigate his effect on the Commodores' music and vocation preceding his Time with the Commodores, Sheldon Reynolds had proactively laid down a good foundation for himself as a talented performer. He had worked with remarkable specialists, for example, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and had been an individual from the Funk Bunch. Anyway, it was in 1984 that Sheldon's way crossed with the Commodores. Sheldon Reynolds joined the Commodores as a guitarist and singer, bringing new energy and inventiveness to the band, his flexible guitar abilities and heartfelt voice impeccably supplemented the gathering's developing sound during his experience with the Commodores. Sheldon added to the composition and recording of their music, adding his extraordinary touch to their collection. One of the prominent melodies that exhibited Sheldon Reynolds' ability as a lyricist and entertainer is Night Shift. Delivered in 1985, Night Shift was a genuine accolade for two music legends, Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson, who had died. The tune procured the Commodores a Grammy grant for Best R&B Execution by a team or gathering with vocals. Sheldon Reynolds' guitar playing was likewise noticeably highlighted in the Commodore's live exhibitions and accounts during his residency. With the band, his particular style added another aspect to their music, enrapturing crowds all over the planet. Subsequent to leaving the Commodores in 1993, Sheldon Reynolds kept on making huge commitments to the music business. He sought after a fruitful performance profession and teamed up with different craftsmen across various classifications. Furthermore, Sheldon committed himself to humanitarian work, utilizing his foundation to support worthy missions. Unfortunately, Sheldon Reynolds died on December 3, 2020, abandoning a heritage that will constantly be remembered. Milan Williams was the keyboardist and melodic arranger of the notable band The Commodores, which was brought into the world on March 28, 1948, in Okalona, Mississippi. Milan Williams was a talented performer known for his excellent abilities on the console he played. An essential job in molding the Commodores during their prime Milan Williams melodic excursion started at an early age as he showed a characteristic fitness for playing the console. In the last part of the 1960s, Milan encountered other gifted performers at Tuskegee College in Alabama, where the Commodores were shaped, perceiving his tremendous ability. Milan turned into a establishing individuals from the band Milan's capability on the console carried an exceptional component to the Commodore's music. He flawlessly mixed different classes, including funk, R&B, and soul, into their unmistakable sound. Milan's unpredictable and melodic game plans characterized the band's personality and played a huge part in their ascent to fame. He co-composed a significant number of the Commodore's greatest hits including the immortal, exemplary blockhouse in the wake of leaving the Commodores in 1989, Milan Williams kept on adding to the music business in different ways. He sought a fruitful vocation as an independent craftsman, delivering his own collections and teaming up with different performers. Unfortunately, Milan Williams died on July 9, 2006, at 58 years old. Anyway, his Melodic heritage lives on, and his effect on the Commodore sound in the more extensive music scene couldn't possibly be more significant. 
Milan Williams will constantly be recognized as the console maestro whose commitments help shape the Commodores into one of the most powerful groups of their time, individuals who are as yet alive. Lionel Richie Lionel Richie was the lead entertainer and one of the establishing individuals from the Commodores Lionel Richie's profound voice and songwriting ability contributed enormously to the band's prosperity. In the wake of leaving the gathering in 1982, Lionel Richie left a tremendously fruitful performance profession, accomplishing graph-besting hits and turning into a music symbol by his own doing. While Lionel Richie is perfectly healthy, we honor his commitments to the Commodores, as we recall the band's prior years, Walter Clyde Orange was the drummer and performer of the Commodores. Clyde's vigorous drumming and profound vocals were instrumental in the band's prosperity even after the flight of Lionel Richie. Clyde's strong voice turned into a point of convergence for the gathering sound. He keeps on being a functioning individual from the Commodores. Furthermore, they carry on their inheritance with each exhibition. Thomas McClary Thomas McClary was another gifted performer who assumed a critical part in the Commodores' prosperity as the band's cadence guitarist, added to their unmistakable sound, and co-composed a few hit melodies. In the wake of leaving the gathering in 1984, he sought after a performance vocation and kept on causing music today as we recall. Thomas McClary and the Marquis left on the Commodores' melodic excursion. William Lord William Ruler, otherwise called Willie, assumed a vital role in the Commodores as a trumpeter and flugelhorn player. His metal commitments added a lively and dynamic component to their music, and William Lord's stage presence and dramatic skill were necessary to the Commodores' charging exhibitions. James, Senior Member Nicholas James, Senior Member Nicholas, otherwise called JD, joined the Commodores in the last part of the 1970s as a guitarist and performer. His abilities on the guitar and harmonies mix consistently with the band's heartfelt sound. JD brought new energy to the gathering and was a vital piece of their live exhibitions and studio accounts. Skylar Fly joined them. Commodores, as a performer during the 1980s, blended his strong and heartfelt voice delightfully with the band's sound. Air's vocal reach and flexibility permitted him to add to the composer's developing melodic style during his experience with the gathering. Ronald Lopred, the bassist of the Commodores, was known for his cool bass lines that turned into a mark component of the band's sound. Ronald assumed a fundamental part in forming their funk mixed mood segment. And while Ronald is never again part of the Commodores, his abilities and commitments will constantly be recalled. Who is your number one craftsman from the Commodores?